Welcome to Borderline! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Borderline, where we talk about values, perspectives, and ethics with the wrestler and the stripper. My name is Michael Magellotti, aka the Rebel Starbuck. I've been in the pro wrestling industry now for 26 plus years, and beside me... International showgirl and stripper Irina Tundra. And Irina, did did I actually understand correctly that you're also a proud groupie? I am. How does that work for you? Working out well. I travel the world to see rock bands. Wow. And you enjoy that, right? I do. There you go. That's, that's something that actually we're going to be talking about today, which relates to this, uh, which is the topic of money. Money and wealth. Now, does being a groupie actually bring you either one, money or wealth? Or what is it that you get out of it? I get out of it experiences, memories, an interesting life. Maybe not so much money. It takes a lot of my money. Uh, so it's more of a, how could you say, it's more like uh, an adventure for you. Yeah. Right. So wealth, but in experience, life. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. But today's topic is money. Now, I understand that one way that you make money, for example, is being an author. You have got a book that's come out. I have. It's called Irina Tundra K-18. And it's about and your life as a stripper. Yes, and a model. And uh, it's actually a photo book. Oh, it's it's got tremendous photos, by the way. I mean, I, I, gotta, I gotta give it to the guy. What's his name, the guy that took the photos? It's a like photo studio called photolies.com. Photolies.com. And uh, and we included some of my stories, interesting stories from my career, 11-year-old career. Well, there you go, worldwide. And by the way, I got a book out too, so for those of you who since we're talking about money, you can pick up both of our books by the way, but just contact us online and uh, hit us up. It's called Battleground Valhalla. No ghost writer, no nothing. It came out in 2017 about my life in professional wrestling worldwide. It's a hell of a read and uh, for those of you who'd like to get some kind of plug uh, as to why you should buy this book, Chris Jericho says on the back cover, my good old buddy Chris Jericho, against all odds, Mike reached for the stars and achieved his dreams of becoming a world-renowned wrestler and musician. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? His story is inspiring and sensational and proves you can do anything that you set your mind to. I highly recommend this book, Chris Jericho. So there you go. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. But wow. ladies and gentlemen, money. Does money make the world go round? What do you say, Irina? Well, I love money. I love making money. Uh, I believe in today's world, you cannot survive without money unless you like, I don't know, go somewhere in the middle of nowhere where nobody lives and you kind of start over. Mm. Yeah. Explain to me, what is the love of money? You said, you said that you love money. I do. What does that mean that you love? Explain that to the people that you love money, the love of money. I love money. It makes me feel good. I want to make it. I want to make a lot of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Is it easy for you to make money? Um, I'd say so, yeah. So what you do as a showgirl, as a stripper, as an exotic dancer, as a, as a pinup model or whatever you want to consider that like like modeling work yeah glam this modeling. yeah glam modeling um this is an easy way for you to make money is that what you In, mean it's how you i guess it, it's how you set up your life career job mm. yeah okay you can work hard you can work smart right okay yeah me personally, I've never actually loved money. I've never really understood the catch to like actually lusting after money in and of itself. Because for me, money is the means to an end. It is not the end in and of itself. Do you understand? Do you, do you follow me? 
Uh, yeah, it's not the end. You make it and you get something. In other words, it's it's a transitional. It's a it's yeah. a transient yeah, article yeah. that comes and goes in your life. Yes. It's it's something that if you can get whatever end result it is that you're after without actually having to utilize or to rely on or then to garner money in order to use it as a transactional tool in order to get that end result all you're after is the end result in other words like let's say if that if you need a pair of a new pair of jeans you don't need money what you need is a pair of jeans yes right if you need a car you don't need money you need the car yes right so for me personally um i often see or i or that i generally generally i look at money as a means to an end in other words i don't worship it at all because of this fact because it's it's entirely transient it comes and it goes and because the nature of life is such that in in life you know just money does uh, much like everything else it just comes and goes uh nothing is forever therefore there's no point in worshiping something or then like uh, focusing too much on something which is completely uh transient and will be gone the next day so do you follow me yeah do you agree with me a uh yes to some extent it is like a, a means mm -hmm. yeah now it's is, not the goal it's not the goal and no. yeah it's it's a means to an end yes right yes. now jim carrey the famous hollywood actor yeah. he once said this i know him <laughs> yeah of course i know him too but i'm not out personally but no, nonetheless no. Mm -hmm. rubber face i think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dreamed of so that they can see that it's not the answer. What do you think about that? Many people kind of get caught up in that, um, you know, yeah, rich and famous, and uh, then, because we see the glamorous, we don't see like behind the scenes. You don't see the hard the work. The problems, that you, yeah, yeah, and the hard work it took to get there, and the problems at home we only see the glamorous uh, like um, in the magazines or in the movies mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. it's easy to to think that that's the life if if you're rich and famous now what about you do you think that everybody has a price is in other words can everybody Body? be bought no what no. would you not do for money what is the like oh, where do you draw the line many things would you uh, kill well, no i wouldn't for a billion dollars no i wouldn't you wouldn't take a life no mm -hmm. no things like that feel wrong right things that feel wrong in I other words you still have to have a conscience yeah even absolutely. though you can't you, you can't become a cold robotic kind of no. like a how could you say a sociopath Le or like money machine that only goes <laughs> where the money is right i know where the money is but no i'm not prepared to go there no so it what do you feel about for example with money um is money and freedom the same thing it can be it can be because if you have money like like i said in today's world to do pretty much whatever you need money so or do you need an opportunity you, it does give you a lot of freedom um yeah i have to say i am very jealous of some people who can talk very well uh -huh. and talk themselves uh, well, in life don't look at me so <laughs> so no but i know people who you know so yeah i am jealous but then again i think you know i don't have that skill so I can make money and get that with money. <laughs> but for example, like let's say freedom. For me, uh, like you, so if you have enough money, you can buy a certain level of freedom. Do you believe that? I do. But isn't freedom in the end, though? Isn't it the state of being where that the shoe is not too tight and that there's no pressure, there's nobody breathing down your neck? That's there, the that's the meaning of freedom. Is it, isn't that more so freedom, do you think? Or is it, what is freedom in relation to money? 
One more thing. Mm. Uh, why I love money. Mm -hmm. uh, because to me, with money, we show appreciation. Like that's, we are so caught up in price. Mm -hmm. This is the price of this. And I need money, this amount of money to get this. We're mm. so caught up in that. But really, with money, we show appreciation. If we appreciate this person or, or uh, this thing or this service, then we are ready to pay for it. And but that could also be a black hole. Because it, let's say in a relationship, let's say if the woman is only made happy by things that i'm just using this as a man yeah, for example yeah, yeah. if the woman uh, has to be uh, is a high maintenance woman where you have to buy her love buy her attention buy her time that she will spend with you if you spend money on her buy expensive things take her out uh to expensive restaurants take her on expensive trips and and that's how she's made happy uh then it's like is that is that justifiable? Do you feel? Some men like spending money on women. Sugar daddies? You can call them that. But that's then you better have a damn big boatload of money because the thing is like a guy like me, I'd go freaking broke. I mean, <laughs> make some more money. No, then don't get involved with a woman like that. <laughs> don't get involved with a woman like that. Mm. Well, that's yeah. it. So, so that's why um, I think because I can show my appreciation and I feel, yeah, I can. It feels good to say thank you to someone. Mm -hmm. So, and I feel I make them even happier. I can go and say thank you to everyone. But if I give money, it makes them even happier. So. But, it's, but it's momentary, right? It's like they'll it's they'll be momentary, thankful. It's momentary, but yeah. I say thank you for today. You forget it tomorrow. Is that fair? What do you mean? To forget it tomorrow. To, to, well, I don't that know. Some that people quick? forget. Some people forget that you were thankful and grateful, and wow. they're like, "Oh, she's never grateful for anything." Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Well, there you go. Mm. So, but your question was well, my question was more or less somehow answered there. Okay, so, okay, yeah, cool. we can pass. So, anyway, if you could choose between having a shitload of money or finding true contentment and happiness in this life, which one would you choose and why? Money or contentment, contentment and happiness, and happiness. Which one would I choose? A shitload of money. Or mm -hmm. then true contentment and happiness where it's like you're you're truly honestly like but if that involves money no it's like separate the two okay no money but fully content yeah exactly a, a state of being where you are fully content you are completely happy you're a very happy human being or then that you just have a shitload of money which one would you rather have and why money and unhappy money and no 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 wait uh Really? The choices are money and unhappy. Or no, 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 no. Just, a, just a shitload just, of money. Yeah. Or then, lasting happiness and contentment. I would choose money and happiness. <laughs> well, um, so um, you, um, 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 let's see. Um, but I can still make money. Like if I'm content and happy, I can still make money, right? But you can't swim in the ocean and ski in the mountains at the same time. You got to choose no. one or the other. Okay. Mm. So which one but would you choose? I'm, I don't get that. Because what is because is is it a means to an end? Content and happy. Mhm. Mm Can you be content and happy without money? Not today. Not today. Not today. Well, what do you think, folks? Money and I need wealth. Need to pay for my house, my food, travel, uh -huh. concert tickets. Of course. Yeah, so I need money. Well, there you go. Or then you need opportunity. Because sometimes when you have opportunity open to you, you don't even actually need the middleman, which is money. Mm -hmm. So how about it, folks? What do you think? Money, does it make the world go around? And does it bring you happiness? How important is money to you? Let us know in the comments section below. We'll catch you next time here on Borderline. Borderline. Oh, 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 oh.
Wrestlers and the strippers. Strip, strip, strip. 